Hello Master Cleansers, um, so this is the day 24 of our uh, 30 days to Master Cleansing uh, blogging experience and I just wanted to do a quick little video on a um, very important topic that I'm really really passionate about and uh, what I would like to do during this video is just pause one single question and that is what is your relationship with your body um, based on? What is actually the, what are the the emotions and the values that are actually at the core of your relationship with your body? So is it um, appreciation and respect, or is it disappointment and resentment? Because that's I, I see that actually on uh, on Facebook page when I go and uh, look at the comments of people that are either going through the master cleanse or they're actually um, uh, just considering it and, and getting into it. So there's different uh, people that definitely come from different different place uh, when it comes to their mindset and uh, their emotional state related to to their body, and um, that really can either slow down or speed up the process of cleansing or weight loss um, during the process during the master cleanse process, and so it's really really important. Um, I have mentioned um, the research of Masaru Emoto in my other um, videos quite a bit and I'm really, really um, excited about that one because it really shows how um, our words and our thoughts actually interfere with, with water and actually are able to um, create, we're able to create different water crystals when we actually put different labels on water and the fact that our bodies are actually made of water is tightly connected to this whole concept and based on that I actually um, did this little creative project I called Happy Glass where I um, used this um, uh, sort of a um, dream board that I put on my glass to drink my water from and um, I just wanted to um, suggest that this glass is actually um, your body and you know, I'm gonna fill it up with water. This is really what we're made of. What kind of what kind of labels do you mostly put on your body? Is it oh, uh, never worked really well? You know, I've always been fat. I have a slow metabolism. Um, I really don't have the will to um, you know to con to continue a good healthy diet. I don't like veggies. Um, it's really hard for me to. Um, focus on something. So what what is it? It could be um, You know, I really love and appreciate how well my body functions. That's actually one of my personal mantras when people um, Ask me about you know, how do I keep my weight off for 10 years straight? I just say I really rely on the fact that I know that my body functions so perfectly I do give it a hand with a good diet, but I also eat meat. I eat bread. I eat the sweet stuff but I do understand that my body is this um, really amazing chemical factory and it just there's so many um, uh, reactions that are happening at the same time it's just an amazing thing and it's just so infinitely intelligent and if I understand how well it works it will actually live up to that potential so that is one of my fav favorite mantras and that is that I understand and I trust that my body functions perfectly so let me know what is your relationship with your body based on emotionally. What are the, the emotional states that you get yourself into when you start thinking about your body? Is it that appreciation and respect that actually is reflected in a diet and the way that you talk about your body and think about your body? Or is it disappointment and kind of a resentment and that's where you start when you go on diets and, and uh, try to make changes? Um, and understand that whenever you are in that resentment or disappointment, it's actually negative emotion. And when you have this kind of emotional state, your body reacts on a physical level and it starts actually releasing toxins into your bloodstream. So it's almost impossible to do the cleanse and be resentful and be disappointed in how you're doing and how your body is reacting. Some people go on cleanse and say, you know, it's been two days, three days, four days, and I haven't lost any weight. And it you just need to understand that your body uh, may take a while till it actually starts um, functioning differently. You, you can't just expect that it's going to change overnight. So allow your body to slowly um, start 
um, shifting into a new way of functioning and then it starts releasing the toxins and the weight and everything else. Um, so I hope that really helped um, and if you have any spare time um, consider this little project. There's another video that's called Happy Glass. That's a really great project to use the extra time that you have when you're not cooking and doing the grocery shopping and some people say, you know, what do I do because I keep thinking about food. So get yourself busy and creative and that really helps. And uh, just let us know what are your mantras and what is your, what is the relationship with your body based in and uh, uh, just let us know what your challenges are. Hopefully we'll be able to create some videos that may help you to get over the humps. So have a wonderful day. Um, enjoy your evening. I hope it's as beautiful and sunny as it is in Vancouver today. And uh, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.